Hey, how's it going? So continuing the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one, we'll be getting Ruin's Edge, a Daedric bow from Oblivion. Uh, now I've personally used this uh, quite a lot in a few of my playthroughs. And if you like your weapons and watching you and most certainly judging you, well, this may just be the bow for you. And we're starting off from White Run as usual. And if you want to know why I'm doing that, it's because people might want to go from uh, individual items so this gives people a good starting point uh, yep so we're gonna head way over over here and go to Shorestone The rift is one of the prettiest parts of Skyrim, I think. really funny listening to them deal with everything <laughs> Actually, it'll be uh, interesting um, at the end of all this to see how much I'm going to level up. I reckon it could be up to level 20 actually in this. Oh, we'll see. It'll be quite interesting. Still got a fair few of these to go though. God, I didn't know how many bloody uh, creations there had already been. Creations and mods. And this is a pretty good spot to get some ingredients as well by the looks of it. Now the guys in here are pretty tough. Um, I mean, obviously we've got a tried and tested method now using Atronax and followers and stuff to deal with them. It's not too difficult. But if you come in here solo, um, these guys can be a bit of a handful. And it's definitely worth checking out for loot around here as well.
Oh, that was quite easy. Remember, right, this guy's quite powerful. Okay. Oh, John's time. Yeah, I think I'll be leaving that. Do you know, in all the time I've been playing this game, I've never got every single gem. I just kind of lose interest. And the crown looks so tacky. And good night. Oh, I'd cheese wheels, want those. And there you go. This is what we come for. Its actual base damage is 12. Um, I've clearly, obviously, leveled up in archery somewhere. I haven't been using the bow that much, so uh, I'm not sure how. But uh, anyway. Oh, so crap at level 1. You can get into a dwarven ruin, I think, if you hop and skip up the that waterfall there. We've got uh, the bliss bug, I think it is, from the uh, yeah bliss bug, yeah, from the Saints and Seducers mod. That introduces three bugs in a jar, uh, and that's one of them. I will do a video on where to find all the bugs in the jars, and uh, that'll include the Creation Club ones. For those that you're interested in, you know, collecting them. Okay, I think we got everything we're going to get to in this uh, this uh, location. Yeah, fun little quest on this. It's a short, um, well very short but it can be challenging it's just I'm doing it this way makes it look a little easier and I'm doing that so we can get the mods uh, as quickly and easy as we can you can make it as hard or as, as easy as you like it's up to you
There's an imperial camp just uh, over the um, just over there. Okay, so let's uh, head back and uh, have a look at this thing. And as I mentioned before, Ruin's Edge is a really unique looking Daedric bow from Oblivion. The eye looking round and blinking is a great touch. As a weapon itself, it has a damage of 12 and a weight of 7. Now it's about the same damage as a Dwarven or Falmer bow, but much lighter and faster. It has the same draw speed and damage as a Forsworn bow, which are great bows by the way, uh, but again, it's lighter. Uh, you need the Daedric Smithing Perk and a Daedra Heart to improve it. It's got some very odd random enchantments, um, Demoralize or Fear, Drain Magicka, Frenzy, Frost Damage and Paralyze. Now I'm not sure if uh, it's the same as a Chaos Enchantment where you can possibly get all the enchantments hitting together, but I kind of doubt it. Anyway, as I said before, I've used this a lot, really interesting looks and a good all-round bow. I like it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Love you.